Hey, I'm CDAJ, and we are playing our How to Start um, the Crusader 2 game. Last time we chose to play as Vesta Jutaland, and um, yeah, so that we that we will be doing now. The thing you have to do when you start up the game uh, is that you have to react to all these small circles, all these bulk bubbles. You also have to take notice of how much money you have, it is over here, how much prestige you have. You can, as a pagan, that is actually pretty important because you can buy buildings and uh, troops and stuff like that with prestige, which is very, very handy. Then you have the piety, your, your uh, religion score, and uh, then you can see how much land you can own, how much vassals you can have, and you can see uh, what kind of relations you have, the number of relations you have. So, and over here you can see uh, your different tabs where you can interact with your game, your portrait of yourself, and your um, crest. So, on the crest, to start from one end, you can see your balance, monthly, uh, yearly balance, um, you can see uh, your uh, claims and nation, uh, the provinces and stuff like that. Um, titles. Yeah. Um, if you click up here, you'll have your council with all the different positions, and we'll go into that later. But it is important always to have all these seats taken by people, uh, and you can give. Uh, titles here, it will improve relations and, and do other stuff, and it will say under each category what it does. But we will come back to that later. Um, over here, um, you can uh, change your laws. This is your inheritance laws. So right now, we choose one kit, and this one will get uh, the main title, and everything else will be divided about among every other kit. Um, yeah, and male inheritance uh, in in this one only males can inherit. So yeah. your realm laws uh, that will be your interact interactions with your vassals. So how much power do you have over your vassals and yeah stuff like that. Obligation laws. This is levies and taxation. So this is how much troops will provinces and vessels give you, and how much money will they give you. Yeah. Technology. This is a very simple system. You get some points up here, and then the buttons will light up, and you can click them, and you will get a square more. And each square gives a bonus to something. It is very, very simple. You, you gain points in three different categories, military, economics, and culture. So, very, very basic. And again, we will we will touch on that later, but I'll, I'm just showing you where everything is. Yeah, oh, military tab. Uh, here you can raise your army. Up here, your own army. From here, you can call in your vessels, and here you, you can see if you have any higher troops. Down here, you can... Uh, you can see uh, your vessels, you can hire mercenaries, and <coughs> in some special cases you can hire holy orders. Retinues are personal troops. They are called in at all times. The other troops you will have to disband and stuff like that. These, this is a standing army. Kind of your bodyguards or something like that. A personal army. And this last tap is your fleet. So you can call in your fleet and ferry your troops where you need to go. And as pagans, as as Asa troop, so we can we can go pillage and go raiding. And here the both boats are essential. I have already covered that in another video and check that out. I, I will leave a link in here to that one. So the next tab is entry. Um, you can at all times have one plot goal. Plot can be lots of things, we will go into that, I'll show you how to use the plots, but for right now, you can have one plot co going and it is here. You can always you can also back plots, so they will come down here. So back plots and 
have a plot is not the same thing. So you can try to kill one and support another one doing something else down here. So no problem there. Over here you have decisions. I'm not sure why that is under tree now, but yeah, it is. Uh, here you can get uh, people to your court. You can hold a great bloat. Um, so a, a offering to the guards. Uh, you can adopt feudalism or merchant republics, but it all had demands. You can hover your mouse over this uh, question mark, and you can see what have to be fulfilled for you to click the decision. So yeah, and then the most important thing is this: raise tribal army. That is so strong. For 500 prestige. We can click this and we will get 2,500 men to fight for us at a docket of 77 uh, a month. That is so strong. Uh, because normally, we can go back and check our levy size is right now 900 men and our vessel have two. So we will have 920 men in all in everything. So that would be like uh, one and a half times more than our standing army. So actually two and a half times if we called in our standing army too. But yeah. And these troops will not, if they die, they will not cause any harm to your own troops. So they, they are like free. No, not free because you have to pay maintenance, but it doesn't cost you your own men or anything. You, you can fight entire wars with just this one army. They will only be standing as long as you can, can pay them, as long as they are not dead, and as long as you are in war or have beat for them. So they will disappear. If if they get killed, they will not reinforce as normal troops will. Um, they will not... Uh, yeah. And they will only be there if you have a purpose for them. Yeah. So the next thing is factions. Um, I cannot join any faction because I am the leader, but if you are not the leader of your country, or if you have a leash, you can uh, have factions to make him do different kind of things, or get your independence, stuff like that. You can also have faction within your own country, and you will have to deal with, with them or they will rebel. Now, of course, letting them rebel and Fighting them down will be one way to to actually handle handle it. Then we have religion. Um, Isatra has no head of religion. Uh, we only have uh, godies, um, and you can see we have five holy sites, uh, and two of them are actually in the hands of Christians. So it will be Poland. Here and it is down here, and then go back. It is Paderborn, it is right here. Paderborn. So these are in Christian hands, so we would like to get them back. And these three are on on Asa Trial or Germanic Fate uh, hands, so that is very good. We have a Godi ourselves, he is not in a holy site, he's just has a temple. But we can go here, click on him, and we can see he's in Vesta Yotalan. And the temple is right here. So, and this is our own city. It's land. So, but that is pretty much what uh, you have to know before starting clicking buttons. So, up here, this is stuff you have to deal with. I will. I, I know what these things are, so I will deal with them in a specific order. You may figure out a way you want to do it when you start up. But the first thing I click is always this one. Pick a character focus. It's because uh, this guy up here is your main guy, and you want him always to have a focus because it will help you do everything. So we will click over here. We can, you can have more than one uh, when you're open at a time. We are married, and she does not like us very much. You can see she has an opinion of me of minus 11, and my opinion of her is 2. So, and we need kids. This is all about, this game is all about family. So we need kids, so we need to do something. 
Uh, there are a couple of different things we can do. We can take family focus or carousing. Family focus is pretty good because it will give us two diplomacy if we have none. We have zero, you can see that up here. Uh, it will give us fertility, so we will be uh, more uh, more able to spawn kits, and uh, we will get health, and so we will not die as easy. So that is pretty good. We could also take seduction, because that will give us 25% extra fertility and uh, extra sex appeal, which might give us a better chance of uh, getting kits and getting girls, I guess. It will also do such a thing so we can get uh, bubbles. It does make sense for um, pagans because we can always take concubines. You can see that down here. So it is not as strong as it would be if we were Christian. So that's why we will take uh, this one. Yes. After taking an ambition, we will uh, we will have to uh, we will take uh, no a focus. We will take an ambition. Our ambition will be to father a son, and um, it will give us ten piety if we do that. So it, this is like missions, it will give you stuff, you can also be king of Sweden and it will give you more prestige and stuff like that. Um, but you want to hit as many of these, so I will complete either having a daughter or a son pretty early in this game. So these are before the other ones, because the other ones need a lot of time. Ask 500 gold, 500 prestige, or piety, or be king. It will all take a lot of time. So we will start with the sun. And we will start with the sun because we hope to get a sun. Because as we said in the other, the first video, um, only uh, only sons can inherit uh, our land. So we will hope to get a sun. Then to to keep on that track before we deal with any of this stuff. We will right click on this picture of our wife and we will say award honorary title and make her the designated regent. So that means if we die uh, and we have a kit, she will be the actual ruler. The, the kit will have the title but she will be leading the land. So that does also give her plus 10 opinions. So now she is only minus 1. So that's a good start. Uh, we could make her law speaker too, that will give her an additional plus 10, so now she uh, is a uh, 9 opinion of that. And then, just to get more kits and more interaction with her, we will give her 15 ducats, and get an another 10 opinion. So, now she is at 19. So that is, uh, that is good. So we will hope to get some kits with her. Our characters here are not good. You can see our stats out here, our wife stats here, and out here. Out here you have our traits, they give us pluses and minuses to different things. And we have our education. This will come back We will go through all this again, but yeah, <clears throat> as we need it. But uh, this is how it works. So now I will close this one. And we will look at the last four things. So, we have no heir. We know that. We are trying to get us on. Title lost on succession. Yeah, because we have no heir, and even if we had heirs, uh, it would be divided among them, so this year would probably always be there. So, yeah. Um, succession nomination. We have to nominate a successor. Can't actually nominate anyone, because we have no sons. So... Yeah. So right now it will pass to Bay, who is not of our uh, house. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. And then you can. We have this. You can press to sure Dutch or claims. It is because this Becky is actually a part of our duchy. We are a duke of Mr. Utala. And Neke is a part of Vesta Yotala. So we can press a legal war against Svidyot with this. We will not do that. What we will do is go to Svidyot. And we can see he's a Jarl. And that's because... Yeah, and here. I'm a Jarl too. So. 
So we'll go to him, and here, and we can see his family. We hope to get an alliance with him, or make him a king so we can swear fealty to him, or something like that. Because we do not, we do not want to be on hostile terms with him. So, the next thing we will set up is under the council, before we start the game. Actually, we have not, we have not started the game yet. Yeah, we have a lot of people in our court that doesn't like us, that is not good. Uh, we will go to each of them and try to improve relation by granting them titles. So, and I will start with the lowest one because granting them a title will bring them above the line and then it will be good and dandy. So, I just picked up this one. Here, yeah, here, man. Here, mother. Yet, man. That is the guards of the guy. Uh, it is from uh, Old Norse, the word, uh, which I have actually studied a bit. Um, and uh, it was this one we was we had to make a. I think yeah, we will make him yet man. Yet Yep. So that is the first part of this. Uh, they are still not very, very happy with us, and we will have to do something about that. You can get him in plus by two by giving him, bribing him with 15 gold. So we'll do that. And I think, yeah, that we'll still have him in a bind and say it is not enough. So we will have, he will have to be mad. We can go see if we could ch change. Him. No, because. He has ten in Marshall, which, which is of course the most important thing for Marshalls, and the other one has six, so we don't want to do that. Even though he likes us a little bit, but uh, that's just how it will be. So what we can try to do is to use our diplomat in Svidyard to make our relations better with the Yarl of Svidyard. We will make our Marshal race, uh, organize a raid, because we will be raiding. That is strong. I don't know if we, no, we don't need to settle anything. We will oversee construction in Vesta Utilan because I think we might want to build something, even though we do not have enough money right now. I don't think so. I think it could cost 27, but we will go look at it. We will study technology. We will study technology in Constantinople because it is the Omicla Guard, as we actually call it in in pagan uh, Norse, but yeah, but we will set up some study there because it is the most advanced province at all, and we will oh, do like that just to make sure we have no heretics, and that's actually a little bit stupid because uh, pagans were not that uh, as a true pagans. We're not that involved in which religion other people had. It is a religion for yourself and your family. And you actually don't care what other people believe in. But that will be a topic for another time. Um, we will pass this law. And we, have no, we only have one vessel. So if we change the law, we'll, it will just go through. What this does, our vassal, tribal vassals will hate us a little bit more, but we can revoke their titles if we feel we have to. So, and, and we want that. We don't want vassals that do not like us. Yeah. So, that was actually everything we needed before unpausing, so in the next video we will unpause. We will unpause. So if you have any questions, please comment. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.